Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This time I will show you where you can find other dream catches in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now the first one I found was by the Dakota River, which is here on the map. So you want to come over here, pick up this dream catcher like so, which is on this tree. Now these dream catches to me about two or three hours to find as as I was following a book which was a bit difficult as the map is quite small but this is where this is where the first dream catcher is which is directly here by the Dakota River which is just on this road so you want to come over here and grab this first dream catcher Now this is where the second dream catcher is located and it is on the north side of the Dakota River by this tree. So you want to come here where I marked the map and grab this dream catcher like so. And also this dream catcher is next to an area called Caliban Seat. The third dream catcher is directly south of Valentine. And it is under the, the first E in Valentine's so you want to go where I marked the map and pick up this dream catcher which is on this tree. Now the next dream catcher is in the Grizzlies West area and it is directly south of West in Grizzlies West, so you want to come up this mountain like so, and your next dream catcher will be on this tree. Also, when getting these dream catchers, I highly recommend that you try and do these during the day, as they're kind of hard to see at the night time. The next dream catcher I found is directly northwest of Cumberland Forest or west of Fort Mercer. So you want to come here and grab a dream catcher. I had a really hard time finding this as I took me a while to find it and I I, got, I gave up trying to find it in the dark. So I, so I set up camp which is just by there and I was able to find it which is directly here. So you want to come here grab a dream catcher like so. The next dream catcher is located east of Cumberland Springs or northwest of Fort Mercer. And it'll be on this tree like so. As you can see there Cotwell Springs is, is in the background, which is where the, which is where the um, legendary wolf is for, for those who are interested. The next dream catcher I found it was directly east of Valentine and it is in between the train tracks and the road which is here. So you want to go where I marked the map and grab a dream catcher. Again this one to me a little while to find as I was following the book and the map was quite small very hard to see hence why I'm making it a bit easier for you to follow. The next dream catcher is directly north east of Valentine or directly north of, of the Heartlands area and it'll be on this tree like so. I had quite a good encounter as I was as I managed to stop some of the Driscoll's robbing the train which I thought was quite funny. But I didn't rob the people, I let them be let them go about their business, get some good honour while we're at it. The next dream catcher I found was north of New Heartlands and it's, and it's by the second end in New Heartlands. So you want to come here where I marked the map and it'll be on this tree like so. Now 
have an extreme catch I found is in the new hangover area, or it is north west of Emerald Ranch. You know, beyond this tree like so, and also I had a weird encounter, like I found this house that kind of looked like the house from the Lord of the Rings, where the hobbits live, which I thought was quite cool. An extreme catcher is again just like the last one in the new hangover area and it's directly north of Hemel Ranch and this is in the Earl of New Hangover so you want to go there where I mark the map and it will be on this tree like so. The next dream catcher is directly northwest of Blue Water Marsh and it is along this road where I mark the map and it will be on this tree. This next collectible is directly west of Blue Water Marsh and I had a really hard time finding this one as it's, as it's kind of in a forest but, but a really small forest as it's, it's a hell of a lot of trees in this game also in this area in particular so, so again I'm zooming in a bit more here just to give you a better idea of where it is Next dream catcher is directly north of Blue Water Marsh and it's in between this junction which is just here and it'll be on this tree. Now the next one is again in the new hangover area and it's by the E in New Hangover. Also, it's south of the uh, south of the um, Elijah Pool, which is quite quite significant later on once we've got all these dream catches. So, stay tuned. Next one is directly south of Ansberg or northeast of the um, Elijah Pool. And it'll be on this tree like so. The next one is again south of Hansburg and is underneath the letter U in Hansburg so you want to come here and grab this dream catcher like so. Z. next one is again north of Hansburg and it's in between the letter N and the letter E in Hansburg so you want to go there where I marked the map and it'll be on the street. I had a bit of difficulty getting this one as I tried to get it while on foot and I was couldn't get it, couldn't reach it I don't think but I believe it's the only one you need for you need a horse for so so this one ideally you want to have a horse as well just in case. Okay, there. 
But the next one is again more north of Amsburg and it's by the river and it'll be on this tree like so. At the last dream catcher is found in the Grizzly East area and it's next to the area called the Loft. And it'll be on this tree like so. And once you get all twenty dream catchers, you will draw out a map in your journal and that map represents all the locations of where you've been to get the dream catchers in your game, so but also you write down a, a, a um, X symbol. That X symbol is in the Elysian pool area, and that means where the treasure is for completing this quest. So, once you draw the map, you see it. I'll look at it a little sec. Try to figure out where the treasure is. As you can see, it, we managed to complete the Dreamcatcher quest. Now we need to claim the treasure, and the treasure is in the Elysian pool area which is down here if you want to come here and run through the waterfall as well as presently the waterfall so you run through it and yeah, make your way all the way to the top of the cave to claim your reward so see here it's quite dark here so you want to equip your lantern as well as this area is pitch black and also I didn't realize there were bats in this game which I thought was quite cool when I First went in here, which is pretty cool. Coming up, we'll be climbing up a bunch of rocks, which is coming up now. As you can see here, there's a way out, but we can't jump out there. So, but you want to make your way all of it, all the way to the top, as much as you can go. You need to examine this painting, which is on this ledge over here. So you want to examine that painting directly in front of you. I didn't do it straight away as I was a bit confused with which one to scan as there's a painting back here which I thought was quite interesting but we need to scan this painting on the wall and you'll claim the treasure and this treasure allows you to, to have more stamina when, you, when, you, when you're when you using the bow when hunting which I think is pretty useful Now coming to the end of the video I hope this video has helped you out. I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching.